Hi kids, glad you can make it today. Listen, I know it's hard looking through all these web pages trying to find us, but boy, are we so glad that you've made it this morning. Now we have got an important message, right? And I want you to come and join with Claire now as we find out who's really important today. So this week, we are starting a new series about VIPs, very important people. Sometimes invitations are sent out to people who have achieved something special, whether they are royal or they are the best in their field, and they will be marked very important person. And that means that they have a special invitation because they are important. They may get special gifts, or they may have special seats, or they may get a special area reserved just for them, and they may be given special food or drinks. But did you know that you are special too? You are a VIP. So today we are thinking about how we are important, and that is because of Jesus. So I already told you about something special to me that I look after, but I want to tell you about a story of a baseball bat. So there once was a baseball bat, but it was a totally normal baseball bat. It had no supernatural powers, but it was special. And it was special because one day this bat found itself into the hands of this guy. Babe Ruth. He was one of the most famous, greatest baseball players ever to step on the field. He picked up that bat and he walked out to play the very first game with the New York Yankees. New York Yankees. As the ball was played towards him, he swung that bat and he hit it and he scored his first home run for his team. And after the game, he then signed his name on that bat. This is the picture of the bat and there is his signature. Now that bat was no different to other bats, but Babe Ruth gave it to a friend who thought it was important to keep it safe. He kept it his whole life, but as he got old he didn't have any family to give it to, so he gave it to the nurse who'd looked after him. She didn't know much about baseball, but she had heard of Babe Ruth, so she knew she needed to keep it safe. And she did so for 18 years, she kept it under her bed. And then one day she remembered it was there, so she decided to see how much it would be worth because she wanted to open her own restaurant. Baseball bats in most professional games cost around $80. So she thought, let's see how much she could get. But it didn't go for $80. It didn't go for $800. It didn't even go for $8,000. When it was sold, it was sold for $1.3 million. Wow. So she opened up her restaurant that she wanted. But more importantly, she then decided to give the rest of the money to a charity that would help support young children who couldn't afford to play the game. So, when people asked her why she did this, she replied, the only reason that bat was important was because Babe Ruth signed it. So I needed to do something with the money that showed honour to him and gave it to something that he cared deeply about. He was the one that made the bat so important. The name on that bat is what made it worth over one million dollars. Did you know that there's a name written on you that makes you important? The Bible tells us that when we give our lives to Jesus, we belong to him and that his name is written on our hearts. Jesus is God's son. He is the most important person in the whole world. And because Jesus, because Jesus chose us and wrote his name on our hearts and loves us so much, we are valuable and important too. 1 Peter 2 verse 17 tells us this, Honour all people. Love your brothers and sisters in Christ. 
have great respect for God. That's three lots of very important people. Sometimes we forget how important we are. We might think and look at other people and say they're cooler, they're better, they're smarter, they're better looking than us. And then think that that means that we are no good. But Jesus doesn't think that. It's not a good idea to be a big show off. But it is a good thing to honour ourselves as being important because God made us, sees us and chose us to be that way. We are important because of who Jesus made us to be and how he has written his name on our hearts just like Babe Ruth wrote his name on that bat. Jesus gave his life so that you could be part of his family. And now we're going to pray. Dear Father God, I just ask this week that you help us to remember to honour you. I just pray that we would know to honour honor you with our bodies by living healthy lifestyles. We would honour our minds by thinking about things that are pure, holy and true. And that we would honour our futures by seeking to follow you, Jesus, in all of your wisdom. Amen. Remember, you are a very important person because you are a child of God. And if you'd like to think a little bit more about that, then please go and visit the BTC Kids pages on the Bromley Town Church website to find out a bit more. And also, please remember to come back next week. See you very soon. Bye. Thank you, Claire. What a great message this morning. Listen, guys, just before we sing a couple of worship songs now, right, to praise God and to thank him for everything that he's doing in our lives, right, just want to recall that memory verse that Claire read with us this morning. And I'm going to read it with you. And that was 1 Peter 2.17. Let's say it together now. Honour all people, love your brothers and sisters in Christ, and have great respect for God. Wow. What a great memory bears. So now we're going to be singing two worship songs.
bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh, oh my soul, worship His holy name. We sing like never before, oh my soul, I will worship you.
Here it is now again. Glad you could make it again today. Listen, the next few weeks now we're leading up to coming back into the church, but there's room. We won't be back in here just yet, but you'll be coming to join us. You'll be sitting downstairs with your parents. And what we're going to do is, for each one of you, we'll have a goodie bag. We'll have some activities for you to do so you can be, you know, kept busy during the service. And then we're looking forward to seeing you back here in the room. That's, that'll be soon. But if not, see you in a couple of weeks' time with your parents. Bye, guys.